A man already struggling to make ends meet now has his car impounded and he's hit with two citations, all because he says he was trying to help. It's tied to what happened when he just finished working as a rideshare driver. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin is joining us now live to explain. Stephanie. <laughs> Steve, Trisha, many of us use our cars to get to work. Preston uses his for work and also to drive his wife to her place of business. Now his car is impounded and he's confused. This is Preston Connor's mode of transportation and source of income. He works as an Uber driver after dropping his wife off at work. Before picking her up Thursday night, he turned the app off and offered what he says appeared to be lost travelers a ride. He said to the MGM, I said, all right, come on. He said, how much is it? I said, it's free, nothing. I don't want nothing for the ride. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want nothing for the ride. Suddenly, his stop near the D in Four Queens took a turn. The gentleman asked me if I worked for Uber. I said, yes. He appears on the other side asking me to get out the car. And uh, like I said, he patted me down. He told me what, uh, what was going on. Uh, told me I couldn't uh, give rides to people. It turns out the three people Preston says he offered a free ride to were working undercover for the Nevada Transportation Authority. We reached out to the NTA and they said yes, these were their investigators, of which they have eight in Las Vegas. Since ride sharing was legalized in Nevada, they've been doing investigations into Uber and Lyft drivers working off the app for cash. But Preston says that's not what he was doing. They were coming back uh, closer to my wife's job anyway, why not? I had time to kill, I told him I had time to kill, I was going to go pick up my wife. I was not hustling, I told him free, no charge. Preston called us just before our newscast to let us know that the citations against him were dropped today. The Nevada Transportation Authority said they began investigating drivers who were working outside of the app because of the threat it poses to you. They said you're not covered by a ride sharing company's insurance policy unless you're working with the driver through the app. Live at Valley View and Desert Inn, Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. Stephanie, thank